So I was just browsing around on my phone, as most modern people do, and I got this notification that the FDA approved ZepBound, a new obesity drug. It'll compete with WeGovy. WeGovy, in case you didn't know, is Ozempic. It's just that Ozempic is supposed to only be used to help with diabetes, and WeGovy is only supposed to be used for obesity. But as far as I know, they're exactly the same drug. Before I go any further, I want to point out that I'm not a medical doctor or a pharmacist, and that what follows is not medical advice. It was just what I was able to learn about Zep and how it competes with WeGovy. The first thing I think most people might be interested in is, how much does it cost? It is not good. WeGovy is about $1,349 for every four weeks, according to the New York Times, while Zep is around $1,060. They don't state whether that's per week or per month. I'm guessing per month. The good news about both of these drugs being on the market at the same time is that because there's competition, there's a good chance that the prices will come down. Unfortunately, there's very little chance they'll come down to the price of aspirin, especially since both of them are, as far as I know, injections and not pills. But now that there's two on the market, it seems likely that there'll be more and more Me Too drugs that'll show up that all basically use the same method of action and they'll start competing with each other, and hopefully the prices come down to a more reasonable level so people can actually afford them. Right now, the only way people can afford them is if their insurance is incredibly nice, or if they get coupons for a discount. How well do the drugs work? I got the following information from drugs.com, which I believe is a site that people might use to look up information about medications that they're taking. For people who are on Ozempic, which is the diabetes drug, they usually lose about 6 to 7% of their body weight. For WeGovy, it's about 15% of their body weight. You don't expect the two things to have exactly the same amount of weight loss, even though they're the same drug, because the amount of drug that's given is different for the two different brands of the same medication. In children, the same site reports, they see about roughly a 16% decrease in BMI on WeGovy. ZepBound, on the other hand, people have gotten about 21% weight loss using the highest dose. Like all medications, there are side effects. And as you'd expect from something that helps with weight loss, a lot of the side effects are gastrointestinal. They include things like nausea, diarrhea, decreased appetite. Wait a minute, that's less of a side effect and more of the main effect, isn't it? It's weird that they'd report that as a side effect. Vomiting, constipation, indigestion, and stomach pain. Supposedly, the side effects may be less if they slowly increase the dose on you instead of quickly bringing you up to the maximum dose. Other side effects include allergic reactions, which obviously you'd probably want to discontinue it if you get that, and hair loss. Maybe for women that's not that big a deal, depending on how much it is, but for men, that could be something that prevents them from taking this drug. Or they might take other drugs along with it to help maintain their hair. Let's face it, a lot of men don't have that much hair to lose in the first place. So what do I think about all this? I think it's a good thing that there's more drugs to help people. I wish the prices were much, much lower. I wish there were solutions that worked as well that didn't involve drugs with some side effects that can be rather nasty. I didn't mention this, but a very rare side effect for WeGovy is thyroid tumors and cancer. That's pretty serious and kind of scary. Definitely want to talk to your doctor about that before you start going on WeGovy. You've come to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please consider clicking like and subscribe. If you really liked it, please consider becoming a member. All members get their names shown at the end of the video, as well as members at the top two levels get their names read out. Members at the very highest level get a free video roughly about once every two weeks. Special thanks go out to Emmett McNally, Cupcake or Death, MMC, Just a Girl, that one guy, Wolf Child Rusk, Average Loser, Maria P, Shringa H, Gray Warden Invasion, Rue the Viewer, and Taylor Morris. I wish all of you wonderful people a wonderful day.